Lockdown's been a challenge for Carol. She's been juggling care for her two adult children with severe autism. Is it bowling today? You got your money with you? You got your birthday money with you? Carol's daughter and son are now getting some daycare, but she's desperate for respite. For us to get the services we've got just now, it's taken a lot to ask for it, to get it, and it's it's come to the um, extremes that Brogan had been pulling her hair. The contact just stopped. It was like a massive shutter. There's been no mention of respite. Carol's one of many parents who relied on the trusted Breaks respite service in Fife. Both Phyllis and Julianne have adult children who were regulars here. And I always feel if he could talk, yeah. It would make things a lot easier. Yes, yeah, that's extremely you know, lonely when they didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Almost six months since lockdown forced the closure of trusted breaks, they're struggling to cope. So many parents, and especially myself and others, that are absolutely at desperation stage. Where, and so their kids. I mean, my, I know my daughter's biting and things like that because she's out of her own routine, and um, it's basically it's they're, they're the forgotten adults. My son's thirty-four and he has um, severe learning disabilities. And since lockdown, um, we've noticed a big change in his behaviour. And I think it's about time that, you know, with the right things in place, right safety measures in place, that, you know, day services, etc., we're opening up again. And especially the respite, because you need that. I need that to get a good night's sleep. It's a similar story for Stephen and Kerry and their son, Rhys. They've never gave us a time scale, a date, nothing at all. So it does make it quite difficult, um, but we're just hoping that obviously for everybody things will change. But the respite, Reese enjoys it, but also as a family, we get a break as well. So six months is a long time. Jackie and John Lowry, who set up Trusted Breaks in memory of their daughter, have been able to host private clients on a one-to-one -one basis, but they haven't been able to accept council-commissioned care. We want to open the door and say, right, come in, because you know, our hands are tied right now, we just, you know, we've been told that we can't open. And some of the families are saying that they just can't continue, you know, and if they can't continue and these services keep closed, then what becomes of their loved one? Authorities say there's a delicate balance between reinstating care and protecting vulnerable people from COVID-19. All services will need to have a risk assessment approved before they can reopen. Families are hoping they won't have to wait much longer. Kay Nicholson, STV News, Glenrothes.